Hello. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. You can be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is wrong with you? Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures, out for another ride. I tell you what, I couldn't pass up this opportunity. Yeah, temperature is 81 degrees. The humi humidity is super low. Let's go this way. And there's just, oh, it's just gorgeous out here. Blue skies and sun. It is Labor Day. Didn't have anything planned for today. Emma and Devin came over last night. Uh, we made some burgers and just hung out for a little while. And today, not a lot planned. So, other than my list of honeydews, but I think I'm going to put those off another day and just try to enjoy it. Because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. All right. I don't know where we're headed. Where are we going to go today? I got Toby in, in trail here, so I can't. I gotta be careful where I go. You know, we went up there yesterday. We went down there. Ah, I just have so many choices, right? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I have no choices. I have three. You know, we were there yesterday, but let's just go back this way. It's a better ride. Really large paths, sidewalk areas. Very little traffic, so we don't have to listen to traffic noise. Less chance that we're gonna run into some other dogs and have Toby go all nutso on us. So we'll go back over here. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I try to plan my videos out in advance a little bit so I have time to kind of think about it. I have a list, you know, I, I keep them written down and, and I gotta review my list from periodically and say, oh, let's maybe focus on this one or that one and let's, you know, try to do the, that one this week or whatever. And so, yeah, it kind of keeps me organized straight a little bit. But I didn't really have anything for today that I wanted to talk about. Nothing on my list really, so. We're just going to ride, and whatever happens, happens. Whatever comes out of my mouth, comes out of my mouth. Yeah. So let's see here. Got to be careful with these little bumps here with Toby. There we go. So let's see here. What is happening? I've got 185 miles on the deer. So I was planning on doing like a 200-mile review. How many miles I've ridden the last month or even three months when you consider all the different bikes I've gotten that I've ridden and so you know some people if they only own one bike it's easy to keep track of uh, your mileage right and I've met people that have thousands of miles I've got one person in my riding group I think he had what was it like 7,500 miles or something that was a few months back so I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I should log it or keep track or maybe all the bikes that I get rid of, you know, write the mileage down before I get rid of them so I know what the total mileage was that I put on it and kind of keep up that way of each of the bikes I have and go through periodically and just check the mileage. I could do that, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 
wasn't sure if she was making a U-turn or coming across. Looks like she made a U-turn. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm going to start riding more here soon because the weather has just turned gorgeous. So we went from like 115 degree heat index for a couple of weeks there. Then the hurricane blew up, blew through. And then, you know, we had this cool down and it's just been super nice. Now, yesterday afternoon, it was it got hot for just a few hours late afternoon. We got that late afternoon sun just cooking and got a little scorchy, but not like it had been. So that's pretty nice. How about all you folks in the north? How's the weather there? I, haven't, I really don't keep track of the weather in other places too much. So I know uh, September, so yeah, it's cooling down quite a bit, probably, uh, especially at night. When I lived in Colorado, I know we could always expect snow the first week of October. So that's right around the corner, huh? So for a lot of you folks, you're going to be putting up your e-bikes for the winter. So yeah, make sure you store them properly, right? You know, don't leave them outside. Try to keep them dry. A dry meaning away from the, the air, the humidity. Don't uh, don't store them long term with a full battery. You don't want to run your battery all the way down either. But you know, most people try to keep their batteries around 50, 60 percent or something. You know, we got a guy cutting grass up here, and you can see the mess he left on the sidewalk. I think we're just gonna switch over to the other side. We'll stay away from him a little bit. I'll go by. So we'll go over here. Looks like he's been over here too. Oh well. Not as much on this sidewalk. So grass can be pretty slippery. I don't know if you're aware of that, but you know, if you're just riding straight across it, it's not a big deal, but you try to turn or take a sharp turn or brake hard or something. Yeah, it can be uh be a little slippery and cause you some problems. I wonder if I'm kicking up grass on Toby back there. How you doing back there, buddy? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's got his head hanging out the front window there, just enjoying life. All right, I think I can cut across and get back to the other side now. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe. Hi. Oh yeah, see? Grass all over. Oh, okay, looks like the other side doesn't have any grass. So we're gonna snip back over here. Uh, what'd you do there, buddy? Huh? What'd you do? Yep, I don't know what he did. I think he may have bonked his head on the uh, the camera mount. I leave the camera mount there because it's kind of hard to get on and off. and So I leave it sitting right there in the front, and that's where he's got his head kind of hanging around. So when I hit that bump, he may have smacked the camera mount. Oh, the dangers of trying to have fun, huh? I'm out here looking for alligators. I, you know what? I'll do that. I'm going to show you a video. <laughs> I found a video last night. It was hilarious. Uh, where did I find it? I found it over on the old Twitter, now called X. A ridiculous name. But anyway, <clears throat> I saw a video of a, of a guy. Uh, well, I'm just going to show you the video. Then I'll tell you about it.
Yeah, when I saw that video, I'll tell you what, it was just, wow, hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. It was just funny as all get out. You know, some guy smacking an alligator with a frying pan. I mean, I guess you got an alligator uh, getting ready to attack you, you do whatever you got to do, right? So, it wasn't necessarily funny at the time, especially for him, but after the fact, it looks pretty funny. You know, you got this big old alligator and he's coming after you and this old guy starts smacking him on the head with a, or on the snout with a, with a frying pan. Pretty funny, pretty funny. I'll tell you what, we're going to change things up and go this way. I've been here before. It's not a bad ride from what I remember. Well, at least it's a change in scenery. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Oh my goodness. This is why people move to Florida. You know, it's the six months of outstanding weather from about October to, you know, March, April time frame. Just super, super nice. But, during that time, I will tell you that our... What do we have going on here? Oh, somebody's got a flat tire. During that time, our population just doubles in some areas of Florida. It is just crazy how many people come down here just for six months, and then they move back up north. So, Hey, be quiet back here. <laughs> hey, hush. Oh, so the population, yeah. So our area is one of the areas that the population doubles, you know. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, population is, has increased significantly the last few years anyway with permanent residents. But then you have snowbirds, and that's what they're called because they migrate back and forth. So they have homes. Well, let's go this way. I've never been this way. They maintain homes up in the, in the north somewhere and then down here in the south. And a lot of people just, you know, fly down or some people just, you know, they drive down. A lot of them have RVs and campers when they come down. But, oh, my goodness, i tell you what, it'll get so crowded. And especially my little area out here in what used to be the country. It's not so much country anymore. But um, when we bought that house, there was not a lot of traffic. Not a lot of traffic because there wasn't a lot of homes. But they just kept building and building and building and building and now there's new new neighborhoods all over the place and thousands and thousands of new people that live out here. So the traffic is busy all the time. But then when you get all the snowbirds come back, because they maintain a lot of houses uh, around, in, around in this area. So then our traffic gets even worse. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be considered progress or something, but moving forward, I don't know. So, oh, looks like Coach has him out doing football practice today over here to our left. Not sure if you can see that. This is a high school we just passed and we're taking advantage of the nice weather and the uh, on Labor Day, I'm sure parents are excited about that. I'm sure a lot of these guys would rather be down on the beach or something. But, hey, do what you gotta do. Alright. Get the birds chirping. Did I mention just how nice of a day it is? There's a sidewalk going. This is kind of new, kind of different. So, I'm sure it's a public sidewalk that 
school property should be right there on the other side of the fence. So I'm not sure where this is taking us, but hey. Up, buddy no Toby's got to the point now where he just wants to bark at people he just never didn't never used to do that he, just, he would bark at bark at dogs and but now it's like hey something I can bark at maybe get some attention I guess huh well guess what it was a nice little ride and until it wasn't. Don't you love that? Making progress. Had this nice little path that we hadn't been down before and and that's it. So guys, I guess this will be the end of the video because hey, there's nowhere else for us to go. Toby and I will venture on and chart a new route somewhere and uh, yeah, maybe we'll start another video and ramble about something else. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this ride along in this beautiful, gorgeous day. Did I mention it was gorgeous? Uh, drop any questions or comments down below, and I will see you in another video real soon. Be safe.